Welcome to Runaway RV Nesters, and welcome to the second part of my uh, visit to Palo Duro Canyon. I actually said it right. No tongue twister. The in, in the first video, we had visited the visitor center. That was the inside picture that you saw. And the window in that visitor center is very wide and very massive, and you get a great view of the inside of that canyon, as far as you can, the eye can see, actually. So, here we go on our next part and visit to Palo Duro. Hang on. Sorry for the hand, folks. I'm hanging out the roof of the truck. Still up. How do we pronounce that? Palo Duro Canyon. It's a tongue twister for me. Okay. When you go to Palo Duro Canyon, there's a bunch of different trails and they have maps to tell you where you're at. And on the back, it tells you if they're moderate, easy, or difficult. And if you can either bicycle or you can horseback or you can walk. And this one we're going on is the Pioneer Trail, walk only. And it's a beautiful day. It's gorgeous, not a cloud in the sky. It's just absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Enjoy that video there is so much to see there and you probably would take a week actually to do all those trails and some are difficult some are very difficult some are moderate and the one we took that first that first picture it was um, that was an easy one but the picture um, that has the cave that is called the hideout I don't have any information about that, but I think it's where they would hide from Comanches or something. I, I don't remember, I don't have the paper. But I we were on that trail and he didn't want to go into that cave. <laughs> He's not too sure-footed on his feet, so he was scared, but we will return and we will take that, go inside that cave. And the second picture, that is, that's the trail that, um, the second trail that, third trail we went on, is called the Lighthouse. That trail is a moderate trail, and it is 2.8 miles, and it's a two-hour trail. And if you go in the summer, definitely bring water, bring hats, because we went in the, in the wintertime, but the temperature changes. So it, it did get hot. So make sure you bring water. And the last picture that I'm gonna show you is, I didn't, is the place that we stayed at, Palo Duro Rim Campground. And it's just the sunset and, but we are actually, that campground is on the rim of the canyon. So I will show you that and thanks for tuning in. And you, if you are in the area or not in the area, you really need to check out this place. I mean, because like I said, it is second largest, but it is vast, small vast, but it's, it's big. And is there a lot to see and a lot to do? Thank you, have a nice day and thanks for tuning in. <music>